Maybe it sounds strange, but it's important for me to sense that I'm moving the world in the right direction. Sustainable energy is the future. It's the right way. Hello, I'm Valdemar, trainee in Dong Energy. This is working as a trainee in Dong Energy. Working with front-end technology. Analyzing data. Freedom with responsibility. You are treated like any other colleague. You never know the answers in advance. Your work is used. Interesting colleagues and an international environment. Communicating with suppliers. Office and on-site experience. You are involved in sustainable energy, large scale. Working with front-end technology is one of the interesting parts in being an engineer in Dong Energy. Often we involve students in the development projects. For me, personally, it's interesting to work with students because they develop very fast. In a four to six months trainee period, they develop from being a student to become a competent power engineer. Dong Energy is deeply engaged in the planning and production of sustainable energy, large scale. Denmark's 2040 goal is for 80% of the total electricity to derive from renewable resources. Producing 50% of Denmark's total electricity, Dong Energy will play a major role in Denmark's renewable energy strategy. Dong Energy is amongst the best in the world when it comes to building and operating offshore wind farms. Being amongst the best sets development at centre. This film is about a cable design development project with a strong involvement of power engineer trainees, about the project findings, the trainees' experiences and a view into developmental work at Dong Energy. In 2008, cutting-edge measurement technology made it possible to create complete temperature profiles of cables up to 20 kilometers using optical fibers and laser technology. I had the idea to buy the measurement equipment and to start a research and development project involving power engineer trainees. Most research and development projects in Dong Energy follow these five stages. Idea, analysis, maturation, execution and evaluation. The idea was to optimize the design and planning processes of the offshore cable grid using newly developed technology. In 2008, we involved the first trainee who made the analysis in three reports. The first was a critical analysis of existing dimensioning data and methods. The second, a report on possible supplies of the measurement equipment. The third, a report defining our measurement accuracy needs. After the analysis, a maturation period followed, where the project was prepared in detail and funds were applied for. The execution period started with buying the measurement equipment, calibrating it and starting the measurements. For this, we involved the second trainee, Mikkel. My first job was to calibrate the measurement equipment in cooperation with the supplier in Germany. This was to secure high precision and output of usable data. With the measurement equipment installed, a daily routine for trainees is to check if the setup is running properly and to troubleshoot and contact technicians if it's not. All the measurement data is collected and analyzed. One of my main tasks is to build a theoretical model which can predict the cable temperatures when we know the wind speeds. I'm building a mathematical model by comparing graphs of wind speeds with cable temperature profiles measured with optical fibers at Burbo Banks. In the future, this model can help with dimension of cables at offshore wind farms. The quality of the measurements, Mikkel evaluated in a detailed 195-page report. For colleagues to benefit from the project, we communicate the results in reports, posters and a film, accessible at the intranet of Dong Energy. It is now two years since we for the first time were able to create complete temperature profiles on cables of 20 kilometers. We have measured 
at two offshore wind farms, Burpo Banks near Liverpool in England and Gunfrit Sands north of London. We can sum up our main project results with this illustration. To the right you have the turbines producing the power which is transported through the cables to the substation to the left. In the blue cables you can see a red line which illustrate the optical fiber used to measure the temperature with laser. Inside the substation is the measurement equipment which have produced the complete cable temperature profile shown in the bottom of the illustration. The hotspot is found inside the turbine foundation where the cables are free of the water. In this example the cable temperature in the hottest hotspot is 54 degrees compared to 26 degrees in the seabed. No measurements have reached more than 60 degrees. The seabed temperature in itself is steadily 13 degrees Celsius both winter and summer. Recently, Dong Energy has decided to lease a new prototype of the measurement equipment, enabling us to make complete temperature profiles of cables up to 50 kilometers. The project results already create value by clarifying design queries raised by investors and by cable grid design engineers. Trainee number four just entered the project to continue finding solutions, communicating with suppliers, analyzing data and continuing development. Trainee at Dong Energy. Sustainable energy, large scale. The offshore cable temperature project.